everyone, Swane here. Today we're gonna talk about a very simple task, which is sewing a button or sewing a press start. It might sound simple, but you will be surprised how many people walk into my shop with the very plain things they, they can't do, like a sewing a button. After all, it's a very useful thing, isn't it, to, to be able to do something simple for yourself on your garments. We will go through different types of buttons, starting from shirts, finishing with coats and jackets, they all have different structure and the structure uh, determines how they sewn actually. Uh, let's go, let's have a look at different types. We can have a look at different types here. They are coming different sizes and shapes and colors. So mainly shirt buttons here, you can see like dress buttons, plain, some buttons like shell buttons, metallic ones, toggle buttons, jean buttons. And uh, the main difference in between them is the type actually. And the sewing type depends on the shape of the button and the type of the button. So what I mean by that, it's the structure. This is flat button and it also has different holes one can have four or two holes there and if you have a look carefully here it's a shank button it's got a neck here as you can see special neck and the same like this one as this one and metallic one here and the structure also dictates the way it's sewn uh, then we, we will be discussing these differences later and this is toggle button, completely different technique of sewing this one. All right, now uh, let's have a look at different thread types we're using. They all come in different sizes, the threads. So the thickness of the thread is more important than anything else. Uh, I usually use four strand polyester or polycotton blend, which is a bit more expensive, but still useful. And four stranded threads, the best, no matter the, uh, the button type. So one tip here, don't ever use a very thick thread, although it might seem very logical to use for thick uh, garments, but still making the four strands out of the single, uh, it's the best, it works the best. It's more flexible and it's easy to work with. And the most common fabric store threads uh, would be considered all purpose 50 weight threads. They all good for using them. And Guterman and Mettler all purpose threads are polyester 50 by three threads. So I recommend using one of those types. So have a look. This is 40, these ones are 50 thickness. And I will display now how to make a right thickness out of the single strand. Okay, let me show you now how to sew this button on. Start from this shirt. Now I'm gonna do this button to this shirt. Uh, it's a bit different from original. Excuse me, I just undid it to sew it back. Ah, it's my husband's. He will forgive me for this. Uh, I'll probably put something else, which is similar. Good enough, I think. I'm sorry. <laughs> now, I've got uh, this thread, which is, uh, the thickness is 40. Um, yeah, 40. And I'm going to do four stranded uh, out of one. Okay, now it's ready for sewing, but I have to select the right needle as well. Uh, I'll talk about the needle first, needle types, and especially the types that are suitable for button, and then we can go from there. That's a four strand. Yeah. So the bigger the number of the needle, the smaller and the shorter it is. So as, as you can see, this one is very fine, and the eye is really small. I don't know if I can show you. Yeah, it's good enough. You can see the, uh, the hole is very small and uh, goes, the number goes bigger, the needle goes smaller. Not logical, isn't it? But we're going to select something that we can thread. This is big enough. I selected this specifically for this purpose. So I think the eye is bigger, big enough for this one. So uh, you're selecting the right needle. And it should be also long enough. This is about four centimeters. So that's the thread. As you can see, uh, the four layers going through the hole. That's the one. 
and then just knot on the other end there you are now let's go Okay, now let's get to the jeans. Uh, why jeans? Because I'm going to talk about stud buttons, and most of them, uh, the jeans, they have stud buttons on on a waistband, and very often, especially when your jeans are a bit tight, uh, people come back with the broken buttons or the cotton or the waist, the fabric is broken there and the button is off, so we have to put them back. But in case if you don't have the press start, the special equipment for putting the press start back, and you're going to put a normal, like ordinary button, you can put with a shank button like this. But just make sure you have a metallic button, which is because they are stronger, something like this, metallic type, or something uh, I'll probably show you on this one. But doesn't matter, anything metallic will do with a shank will do. Okay, because on specifically on the waist, you need a bit of um, flexibility. You need a bit more distance between the button and your fabric. The fabric is really like strong. The stud button looks like this. Imagine the button is broken here. All right. <laughs> okay, that's a shank here. We're going through here. And you have the same strong thread here. Thread it. And just go a couple of times. Now, uh, in this case, th just do the strongly, go strongly, push it and tighten it. You don't have to leave anything, you know, you don't have to make this loose. Do it as strong as you can. And, and I'll probably go as many times as I can to make it stronger. That's really important. So I've done five, four times, like go ten times if you like. This is jean button, okay? It's got lots of pressure on. It will come off if you don't don't do that. Now done. That's how it looks like. Really strong. And you don't have to go around. Let's just repeat myself. Don't have to go around. You can leave it like that because it's strong enough already. Then go to the other side and it's done. Just a couple of reinforcements. The button is good. Finally, the last type of a button. This is toggle button. We're talking about this one. And you can find it on leather coats and jackets in funky style clothing. But most of the time they come with a leather, leather tape goes through the button, as you can see. But most of you, you won't have this tape or you can get it from Spotlight or Linkraft. But uh, getting back to the stitching the same way, it's a bit hard unless you have a strong machine. That's why I'll just demonstrate the hand sewing technique. If you have a toggle button, you can just sew by hand. Uh, you need a strong thread though. I made this thread by twisting two threads together to make double. Just put it through the hole like this and then goes back to the hole in and then out again. Just bear with me, we'll get there. There you are. Just leave it a bit loose as usual yeah this is really hard but we'll get the
Here you are. So we did it twice actually. Like the video and it was fun and uh, educational to watch please come over if you want to see me and uh, i can explain and i can talk to you about any subject you like subscribe to the channel if you like to be notified first about anything happening and keep well i'll see you next time bye now